Greetings. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you to the first virtual graduation in the history of the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. We're all part of an unprecedented event in the 122-year history of our institution. Although the circumstances that precipitated the format of today's commencement have been challenging to everyone, today is a great day in your life and in the history of the university. It's a day to celebrate your accomplishments with your family and your friends, a day to celebrate the resilience and the longevity of this great institution, and a day you've anticipated and worked very hard to bring to fruition. We all wish we were gathered together this weekend in Lafayette, because like you and your families, commencement is a joyous time for everyone at the university. You are our greatest success, and we want to celebrate this moment as well. We will have an opportunity to gather with you at a later time, and we look forward to that day. But we simply could not allow this day to pass without formally conferring the degrees that you have earned. There are many people who have helped you to reach this milestone. One group in particular that we must recognize are the extraordinary faculty who have mentored you and taught you so well during your years at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. And in your case, the graduates of spring 2020, these same faculty found a way to deliver their promise to you in the midst of one of the most significant crises in our nation's history. Take the opportunity to let those faculty members know just how much they impacted your life. But now, it's about you and about what you have accomplished during these trying times. Welcome again to our commencement ceremony. Congratulations on this significant milestone in your life. And now celebrate with us and with those who have gathered with you. Welcome, members of the Class of 2020, and welcome to all of those watching this celebration, the first virtual commencement in the university's history. Of course, we weren't looking to make history when this semester began, but the past few months have cast us all as participants in events the likes of which the world has not seen in some time. This global pandemic has touched nearly every aspect of our lives as individuals, and nearly every facet of our university's life as well. As an institution, we've had to reimagine how to operate, how our students learn, where they learn, and how we celebrate their achievements. You, the members of this spring graduating class, refuse to be deterred by these extraordinary circumstances. And despite the multitude of changes and challenges this semester posed, you remain focused on your goal of earning an academic degree, and you've done it. So congratulations are in order. You know, commencement is a highlight of every semester, and it's an opportunity to offer graduates the best wishes of the university as they begin the next chapter of their lives. From my usual vantage point, I can look into the graduates' hopeful faces and the sight never fails to reassure me. The future of our community and of our world is in good hands. Although the view is different this time, my confidence remains. You have proven your ability to answer challenges with resilience and to meet the unexpected with resolve. Resilience is a quality that the world always needs, and that certainly is true today. You have it. It's right there alongside your ingenuity, courage, optimism, and compassion. These traits, combined with the knowledge that you've gained here and the skills that you have sharpened, will ensure that a brighter and better future remains ahead for yourselves, your loved ones, and for our broader community. In the next few days, you will receive your diplomas. On the surface, they commemorate your labor, sacrifice, and yes, your resilience. But look more closely, and you'll see that your diploma also represents a belief that someone else had in your dreams. Your family's fingerprints are on that diploma. 
The fingerprints of your friends and professors are there as well. They and many others help you to reach your destination today. Call them, text them, FaceTime them, write them, email them. Though you may not be able to physically embrace them, let your words and thoughts of gratitude draw them close. And in the future, when you look at your diplomas, imagine their fingerprints. Remember how their kindness influenced your lives. And let those memories inspire you to help someone else reach their goal as well. Now, at the beginning of your journey toward an academic degree, I know that many of you imagined what commencement might look like. None of us pictured an event quite like this one. But whether the commencement is remote or in person, my request of you and the university's expectations for you would be the same. Be present in the world. Show up. Participate. Make a difference. In this age of social distancing, we cannot separate ourselves from the responsibility that each of us has as individuals to apply our skills, talent, and knowledge to make a difference for the greater good. You've learned that lesson throughout your time at the university, and the past few months have made it all the more clear. Be present in the world. It needs you. We all need you now more than ever. Congratulations to all of our graduates. Please stay safe and go Cajuns. Class of 2020, congratulations on graduating from the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. I'm Jim Henderson. I am president of the University of Louisiana system. The system comprises nine universities across the state of Louisiana. And of course, one of my favorites, one of my top nine is the University of Louisiana Lafayette. Uh, partly because I send a tuition check there every semester for my physics major, math major, chemistry major son, who will graduate this fall, God willing. Uh, what you have achieved is remarkable in its own right. You are a college graduate. That's a goal that has eluded so many Louisianans and so many people across the country. Forevermore, you'll be a college graduate. But this is what makes you special. You completed your studies in an unprecedented circumstance. One that was really unfathomable even eight weeks ago when we first became amateur epidemiologists and started talking about how viruses can expand across cities and countries and states. The fact that you were able to be successful under these circumstances says a lot about who you are. It says you're resilient, it says you're focused, it says that you can overcome obstacles that couldn't even be envisioned. Those are traits that are going to make you successful for the rest of your life. We are, take great pride in every one of our graduates. It's hard to, to understand that unless you're an educator, that sense of pride that you get in watching a student walk across the stage. Well, we don't get to watch you walk across the stage, at least not today. Hopefully we'll get to in the very near future. For now though, Please know that we are proud of you. We're grateful for you. We congratulate you. Go Cajuns. Hello to my fellow Ragin' Cajuns, to the university administration, faculty, and staff, and to the parents, friends, relatives, and extended family members of the UL Lafayette community. Congratulations. We've done it. Over the past four years, I've had the privilege of being a student at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. I found myself consistently in awe of the vigor with which professors have prepared insightful and challenging coursework, yet were also accessible and compassionate when we've needed help or guidance. I've been in awe of students that, in addition to full-time class loads and jobs, sacrificed their time, their money, their talents, and their energy to support a student organization, or to a philanthropy, or to a service event, or in support of our friends, our teammates, and our classmates. We are and have always been a boisterous, spirited university that constantly inspires bettering our campus and the world around it. This semester, that boisterous and spirited environment was cut short without warning, 
and cast waves of grief, disappointment, and worry upon us as we came to terms with harsh uncertainty. But because a need for companionship, an understanding of the problems facing our community, a heart for service, and a wherewithal to respond is in our very nature, we've used our time out of the classroom to sew masks, to deliver and shop for our more vulnerable population, and even to step onto the front lines ourselves, but most importantly, to help our family however we can. We did not wait to act, to serve, or to respond, and our reaction to this disaster both encompasses our character and anticipates our lifetime of service and global impact. There is a hard truth that marks today's virtual celebrations, for which there can be no unanimous sentiment or process by which to resolve. There is nothing that I or anyone else can say to make the sting of the sudden changes to this ceremony any easier to bear because I feel them too and I've gone through every emotion with you. But there is another greater truth that seals today's celebrations that no one and nothing can take away our education. We have endured shock tragedy, illness, and loneliness, but we have done it with a greater ability to appreciate our circumstances and with a deeper respect for others' ideas and concerns and with a richer understanding of our future purpose. If there's one thing I've learned at UL, it's that anyone in South Louisiana can be born a Cajun, but only the fire-tested candidates at the end of sleepless nights, early mornings, and ever-challenging semester after semester get to proudly call themselves Ragin' Cajun alumni. Though it is not the way that we imagined, our day, too, has come, marking the last of our degree requirements and the first in a lifetime of excellence. There is no other class no other semester, no other university, and no other student body I would rather share this experience with. And the day when we can return to our alma mater from every corner of the world, it will be that much sweeter to share alumni status with you all. Congratulations. Hello, I have the honor to introduce to you the university's outstanding graduates and master's finalists. The Outstanding Graduate and Outstanding Master's Graduate Award is one of the highest honors bestowed upon an undergraduate and master's graduate. The Outstanding Graduate Award is awarded to an exemplary bachelor's student in recognition of outstanding academic and extracurricular achievements. The master's student is selected based on leadership, scholarship, service, and research. The Alumni Association's Awards Committee interviewed all outstanding graduates then selected the winners. The outstanding graduate for the College of Arts is Lauren Graham LeBlanc. Lauren majored in fine arts with a concentration in graphic design with a 3.82 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the B.I. Moody III College of Business Administration is Francisca Riepel. Francisca majored in economics with a political science minor with a 4.0 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the College of Education is Sarah Fry. Sarah majored in exercise science with a 4.0 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the College of Engineering is Kyle Zappi. Kyle majored in chemical engineering with a 3.95 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the College of Liberal Arts is Rachel Laudiger. Rachel double majored in political science and history with a 3.97 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the College of Nursing and Allied Health Professions is Sarah Caswell. Sarah majored in nursing with a 4.0 GPA. The outstanding graduate for the Ray P. Audemont College of Sciences is April Pruitt. April is a biology major with a minor in chemistry and psychology with a 3.95 GPA. The outstanding graduate from University College is Miranda Wiltz. Miranda majored in general studies with a 3.92 GPA. Now it is my privilege to introduce the outstanding master's finalists. Olivia Lahey is graduating with a Master of Science in Civil Engineering from the College of Engineering with a 4.0 GPA. Tyler Martinez is graduating with a Master of Arts in English from the College of Liberal Arts with a 4.0 GPA. Abigail, Abby, Pratt 
is graduating with a Master of Science in Biology from the Ray P. Audemars College of Sciences with a 4.0 GPA. Melody Tanako is graduating with a Master of Music from the College of Arts with a 4.0 GPA. Now, award time. The Spring 2020 Outstanding Graduate Award winner is Kyle Zappi from the College of Engineering. The Outstanding Master's Graduate Award winner is Olivia Lahe, also from the College of Engineering. Congratulations, Kyle and Olivia, and all our outstanding graduates and master's finalists, as well as all of our graduates. On behalf of the Alumni Association and over 100,000 graduates before you, welcome to the Alumni Association. All graduates will receive an Alumni Association lapel pin with their diploma. Congratulations. Welcome to the Spring 2020 College of Engineering Graduation Ceremony. My name is Ahmed Katab. I am honored to serve as the Interim Dean of Engineering at the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. Class of 2020, congratulations. I am very proud of you. This is a great day. Commencement has been always one of my favorite events. However, this particular one will be etched in my memory forever. It has been said that the class of 2020 will be known for the coronavirus, thus becoming the COVID-19 class. I reject that. COVID-19 may have changed the traditional way we celebrate your achievement, but it didn't stop your success. It didn't stop you from reaching your goals. I say, because of the challenges you faced and overcame this semester, the class of 2020 will be always known for its strengths and resilience. Resilience means facing life's hardship and difficulties with boldness and courage. It means being patient and steadfast. Being resilient is not only about being strong, but also about never giving up. During these uncertain times, your resilience was tested. This commencement means you were strong enough to handle it. You were strong enough to live it because you are strong enough to go through it, to thrive through it, to inspire others through it. Your story is your strength. Your story is the story of someone who refused to give up. At some point, you made a promise to yourself, I won't stop. Congratulations, you didn't stop. And you did fulfill your promise. Now to my faculty and staff, the most instrumental group, the group behind the success of our graduates. Thank you for your passion for education and research. You have forever it changed the course of many young lives. Parents, grandparents, family members, and friends, I know that behind each and every one of our graduates, there is a story of loved ones who supported, encouraged, and inspired them, who stood by them. You should be very proud of their achievements. You have done such an excellent job. Class of 2020, congratulations. And now, presenting the graduates. Victoria Michelle Abshire. Ayodamola Ajala. Alexander Rabi Ajan. Ahmed Abdullah Al Hassan. Ayub. Al Karusi. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all my family and friends for supporting me in this journey and go Cajun. Adwa Arif Hadid Al Uraimi. Item Mawson Al Bahai. I want to thank all my family and friends who support.
supported me and to all my fellow graduates, congrats, we made it. Faiz Mohammed Al Mudara Levant Al Tunaer To my family, friends and teachers, thank you for your support and encouragement at achieving my mechanical engineering degree at ULO. Blake Allen Arsenault Bradley Christopher O'Quinn Joel O'Quinn Thank you to my family that supported me through my education and I'm um, getting married next month so I'm excited to start this next chapter of my life. Mason O'Quinn Benjamin Joseph Acock Trey Amond Zachary Paul Io Vladko Babic Matthew Babin Kyle Michael Bodwan. I want to give a special thanks to my parents, Lon Bado and Dr. Michael Pratt. You guys have helped me forge my way through college and be the person I am today. Thank you. Mitch Bearden. Ryan Stephen Begno. Nicholas Best Chester Bex Bo Weston Blanchard Jude Solis Bonin Dylan Bordlon Michael Paul Boudreau Troy Michael Bro Joseph Thomas Breerwood Bryson O'Neill Briscoe Andrew Dominic Brocato Andrew Jacob Broussard. It's been a long four years, but I made it. And though I didn't think it would end this way, I'm glad that I earned the right to wear this. And I want to thank my Savior, Jesus Christ. Cody Dylan Broussard. Joshua Cole Broussard. Reuben Broussard. Kevin Taylor Brumfield Jordan Brum Andy Bowie Colton Bujol Saad Rahim Bucks Matthew Ross Campbell Fee Michael Cowell Lane Carraway I would like to thank all my friends and family and all my professors these four years were very memorable, and I couldn't have done it without y'all. Alyssa Jude Carrier. Go Cajuns! Hi! Javen Carter. Edgar Alfonso Chapa. Hey everyone, just want to 
thank my family, friends, and even my enemies for helping me in some way to achieve my goal. But this also goes out to both my grandpas. Rest in peace. Los quiero mucho. Joshua Joe Chauvin. Tyler Paul Childress. Marcus Chopin. Blake Lee City. Derek Clay. Jacob Como. Katie Monique Cormier. Justin Corville. Kyle Coutte. Alberton Cuvion. Bryce Anthony Curtis. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for giving me the experience of a lifetime. Special thanks to my mom, Stephen, Amber, Gianna, my brothers, AKDB, Go Cajun. Burke Thomas Daigle. Brian Joseph Davis. Thomas DeFelice. Nicholas Desotel. Gavin Taylor DeVille. Nicholas Paul Dore. Anna Shane Doge. Haley Celeste Dugas. Boyd Ashley Dunham. Adam Duplachon. Elijah James Dupree. Christopher Keegan Edwards. Samantha K. Edwards. Jordan Bryce Elliott. Damon Lamar Emmett. Aaliyah Claire Marie A.J. Jacob Falgu. Give thanks to God, our Father, and to all of my family and friends. There's no way I could have done this without your support. Thank you very much. Go you well! Jacob Michael Fauchel. Emily Ann Falk. Michael Brian Flores. I'd like to take this time to express my most sincere gratitude to my parents, Brian and Gloria, and especially to my aunt and uncle, Debbie and Freddie Mills. I couldn't have done this without y'all. Love y'all. Lainey Blair Fontenot. Seth Paul Fontenot. Hunter Charles Foti. William Riley Frank. James Fraser. I'd like to thank Mum, Dad, and Locke for their incredible support and all the teammates that have been with for over my four years here, making my time so good. Madison Blair Frederick. Reese Patrick Frederick. Zane Anthony Fruge. Luke Guyon. Mariah Lee Guin. William David Green. 
Colby Dane Joseph Gidry Kennedy Giot Anne Elizabeth Gutierrez Connor Donovan Hannon I've been given 10 seconds to thank my family and friends for getting me to this graduation, but I want to give a special message to my father. Dad, quit crying. I'll see you in the living room. Jacob Charles Hardy. Brock Joseph Harrell. Seth Michael Harson. Joshua Luke Hart. Andre John Aber. Dylan Tobias Aber. Gabriel Aber. Jake H. Aber. Matthew Scott Abair Oday Adolf Abair Rhett Abair Tanner Colt Abair Zachary Paul Abair Juned Nurdin Hamdani Sebastian Robert Hillis Brian Andrew Hincamp Q. Deem Ho Kain Zui Huang Cassidy Marie Hoffpower Seth Ryan Holmes Matthew Hewlin Zachary Cahill Husband Trevor Keith Ingram Alex Dominic Inzarella Tony Joe Iomi Chitwood Austin Jackson Thank you to all my family, my friends, and my girlfriend Emily. I'm sad that this is coming to an end, but I am very excited for the future. Go Cajuns! Derek Cordell Jenkins Alexander Samuel Johnson Clayton Adam Johnson Caden Malcolm Jones John Taylor Jobert Sarah Ann Judice Caitlin Keller Molly Key Destin Anthony Kiger Thank you, you all, for the great memories, and thank you to my mom, grandparents, and girlfriend for supporting me every step of the way. Avery Lamar Kingman. David Francis LaCour. Thank you, you all, Lafayette, and also mom, dad, family, and friends. Charles Paget LaFleur. James 
Kyle LaFleur. Hua Lisa Lamb. Dexter Anthony Landry. You did it, my boy. So proud of you. Gage Laverne. Emily Ann Lawson. I would like to thank God, my family, my friends, my professors, and anybody who supported me here at UL. I couldn't have done it without y'all. Thank you. Caston Brooke LeBlanc. Nicholas Warner LeBlanc. Evan LaBeouf. Tyler Nathaniel Ledoux. Hey there, Regent Cadence. I just like to thank God for making everything possible, as well as thank you for the support from my family and my friends. Mom, I love you just as few. Bobby James Lee III. Kennedy Alexander Lee. Thank my parents for your continued support and my professors for their guidance. Billy Charles Leger. Blade Keith Leger. Hello, friends and family. Thank you for all the love and support you've given me over these past four years of college and through life itself. I wouldn't be here without you. Thanks. Jacob P. Lala. Reagan Lemaire. Kivas Joseph Leon. Collier Leonard. Nicholas Maxwell Logan. I actually made it. <laughs> Sick. Caitlin Marie Lou. Laura Ann Manuel. Morgan Elizabeth Manuel. Everard Thomas Marks. Matthew James Martin. Nicholas Shane Martin Remington Martin I'm gonna hit the workforce like this Drew Charles Mathern Nathaniel Joseph Albert McClure Cassidy Danielle Melanson Grant Melanson Bryce Joseph Menard Philip Michael Miller Bobby James Manet Cameron Jude Meir Drake Meir Hunter James Meir Austin Montalvo Miles Andrew Moreau Joshua Blake Mouton Jared Victor Neeb Michael Nelson Kaylin Nero Owen Vaughn Newton
Jimmy Wen. Larry Yip Nguyen. Tu Huai Nguyen. Melissa Jam Nguyen Bong. Hello, my name is Melissa Nguyen Bong, and I'm graduating in a bachelor's in industrial technology with a minor in business. I'd like to thank all my professors, family, and friends for helping me accomplish my goals. Brett Nikanen. Oni Murupeolua Laney Marie Ogeron Ryan Michael Oob Anna Margaret Paddock Michael Emmanuel Palmer Julia Jean Marie Pash. Hey, class of 2020, so proud of you all. We're finally graduating. Hey, Grandma Jean, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, friends and family. Akshar Patel. Padma Pellegrin. Devin Perkle. Nathaniel Perrin Ka Pham Kevin Pickett I want to thank everyone and this dog for getting me through the school year. Thank you. Ethan Poche Caleb Presley Shay Aaron Price Logan Primo Lauren Elizabeth Prudum Jamal Rainey Jordan Shivanan Ramjit Connor Michael Rawls Grant William Ray Well guys, I did it. And that's a go Cajuns. Caitlin Rayal Amara Zavon Richardson Thank you, Agent family. I know this isn't how we expected to celebrate our graduation, but through all the obstacles, we did it. Go Cajuns. Connor Page Riggs. Carlos Rivalta Rodriguez. Francis Albert Robichaud III. Hudson Rodrag. Andrew Mitchell Romaine Nicholas Reed Romero Abigail Roy Neil Sand Nicholas Robert Scalfano Caroline Elizabeth Schecksneider Thank you, you all, for all these great memories these past four years. Go Cajuns! Peyton Edward Schecksneider I'd like to take a moment and thank everybody who was there for me every step of the way to get to this point, including my mom and dad. Thank you again, and go Cajuns! Joseph Allen Scouten Joseph P. 
Paxton Skogin. Sai Imad Hosni Shakir. Rook Lauren Smith. Colin Reed Summers. I'd like to say thank you to all of my family and friends who've helped me along this journey. Bryant L. Simyong. Hi, big thanks to everyone who could attend the ceremony today. I never thought that it would be like this, but it is what it is. Y'all stay safe. Michael Cullum Taylor. Evan Richard Thibodeau Ivy Thibodeau Taylor Nicole Thibodeau Ian Thomasy Virginia Kristen Townsend John Wyatt Tremmy Troy Wayne Turner Daniel Yurdialis I'm an engineer. Thank you, everyone. Blake Stephen Vampran Brandon Wayne Van Allen Matthew Todd Vietar Nicholas Paul Vietor The time has come to move on. I did it. Thank you to my friends and family, and I will always be proud to be your raising occasion. Luann Min Vo. Trevor Wade Sarah Caton Watson Hunter Gregory Webb Alexandra Poirier Weeks Chloe Elizabeth White Alexander Gregory Williams Christopher Williams James Renault Williams III Hey everybody, I know this wasn't what we had planned, but I just want to say real quick thank you to my friends and family, everybody who supported me throughout the years, and go Cajuns! Stefan Edward Williams William Worth Joshua Worley Ling Ying Yang Keegan Yates Elias Yazbek Edric Jun G. Yao Kyle Edward Zappi Jonathan Zarang Chong Bayou Class of 2020, some of you may feel uncertain about the future. Who doesn't? But learn from your success. Your time at UL Lafayette prepared you well and shaped you into well-rounded leaders and innovators. Remember, you will play a key role in the growth and the stability of our country. You all worked very hard to get to this point, and you made it with your talent and determination. Remember this when life gets hard. With talent and determination, you will always make it. Follow your hearts 
always dream big. Nothing stops you from dreaming big. So dream big and follow your dreams and you will always make it with your talent and determination. Once again, congratulations. I wish you all well. Spring 2020 candidates for degrees in the College of Engineering. This is the moment you have been waiting for, the conferring of your degree. Each of you has met all necessary requirements for the granting of your degree, and the faculty of the College of Engineering recommends to me that your degree be awarded. Therefore, by the power vested in me, by the President of the University of Louisiana at Lafayette, Dr. Joseph Savoy, and the Board of Supervisors of the University of Louisiana system, I hereby confer your degree with all of the rights and honors pertaining thereto. Faculty, parents, and friends, I present to you the UL Lafayette College of Engineering Spring 2020 graduates. Thank you.